In today's video, I'm going to show you five of the most forgiving irons I have ever tried. But in the number one spot, it's quite simply the best, most forgiving iron of 2023. I'm going to kick things off with an iron from a brand that up until this year, I quite literally never tried any of their products before. It starts off at number five, but there's every reason it could well be a lot lower than that. We might kick things off with a hole in one. That's a great start. And uh, the iron that I've just hit is from Zexio and it's Zexio 12 in terms of the iron model. Now, before we go any further, I want to point the five that I'm going to show you will probably fall into the super game improvement category. And in terms of the size and profile on this, this is exactly where it would sit. But in terms of forgiveness, I'm just blown away by what this thing does. And that to me is what forgiveness is all about. If you can see that strike is very much towards the heel. My interpretation of forgiveness is what happens when i don't find the center of the club face and what you're seeing there was a super high launching ball the ball went straight the ball speed doesn't seem to have dropped off it's carried exactly where i would expect it to see in terms of a seven iron that we're going to hit today but like i said very much missing from the center of the club face the zexio 12 is everything you'd want from a forgiving set of irons it's on the bulkier side and without doubt fits into that super game improvement category but well deserves its place in the top five and could have potentially been higher it's also worth noting that there's a very much different counterbalance shaft setup on the zexio lineup and if you are interested i would certainly go and pay attention to my initial review stay up there of those zexio 12 irons right that's a decent part to start what's in now at number four so a number four is a product from Taylor Made, and this iron is very much different than traditional. It was that Stealth HD. The shape of it is going to be the one that causes most golfers problems, certainly when you're wanting that sort of more traditional look, and that's what you're used to. But as you can see from the iron I've just hit, it's incredible in terms of its ball flight. It's incredibly high launching, and it's pretty much everything that most average golfers are looking for in a super game improvement iron. The one thing you've got to get over is the way this thing looks other than that it's pretty much a no-brainer right let's go on to number three that's another super ball and what great feel it comes off i just missed the green a tad to the right but great feel it comes off this next iron which really surprises me it's from the big bertha 23 line up in there i mean great the big bertha irons from callaway are just all about forgiveness the whole lineup is about that but for me, in this model, it's the most forgiving they've produced so far. Every iron is going to do similar things in the sense that it's off center strikes, don't lose ball speed, and launch the ball very high, irrelevant how strong lofted they are. And that's exactly what this model does as well. But it's just got a little bit of so softer feel that they've managed to introduce into this lineup. The negative is, it's still in that obviously bulky category but it's got a little bit more visual offset than the others and it's very very noticeable now for a lot of golfers that's going to appeal particularly if you hit a slice or a fade but for others it might be a little off-putting but that's why it sits in at number three now number two comes from a brand that will any top five that you put together pretty much will always contain this brand somewhere near the top and once again the thing that is uh, prevalent with each and every one of these is just how high that ball launches. Super high, in fact, and uh, with not the best of strikes and a slightly slower swing speed there, the Ping G430 iron does everything that you'd want from a game improvement iron, and forgiveness is at the top of the list. Ping over the years, as you know, I think are the most user-friendly clubs or club manufacturer there is out there. They've very much got the average golfer at heart when they produce anything. And that again is probably the best iron they've put together so far in that G430. The one negative for me is it's still a little bit harder feeling than the others. The positive is I've stuck this into a super game improvement category. And it's not the biggest of irons and it gets away with it in terms of profile, but still does everything you'd want in terms of forgiveness. So a bit of a playable iron in a super game improvement genre. The question is, what is that number one iron and why do I think it stands out so much? Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore, bringing you the hottest deals in golf 
and of course the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Oh my word, definitely the best strike of the day from what I consider to be without doubt the best iron within this category. You see the new tight list range of T-Series irons for me has been absolutely phenomenal. They could well take the number one spot in any top five within each of the categories. They are that good in my opinion. And they're from a brand that I don't overly see featured on this channel, but I finally got my hands on that T-Series of 2023. And as I say, I was pretty much blown away. And at the top of the tree is their game improvement iron. It is the T350 and it could be the standout product within that whole lineup because it is without doubt a very forgiving iron. It is in that super game improvement iron mold in terms of forgiveness, but in terms of profile, it's much more compact than you would ever expect. When we did the original, original review, it was clear to see that ball speeds were phenomenal. We're getting great launch angle, great descent angle, and even managing to maintain a high spin number as well. Then you start to couple that with just how good this iron looks. Then that smaller profile, and then the sound and feel. They've just done everything that you would ever want within that category. And to be honest with you, this is my super game improvement, most forgiving iron of 2023, but it could almost appeal to a much wider audience than just those that are looking for super friendly, forgiving irons because it's very playable as well. I cannot give enough credit to what Titleist have done with the T-Series irons this year. And without doubt, that is my number one most forgiving iron of 2023. Right, that's me done. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. It was really a bit of an update and certainly to include this and certainly the, uh, the Zexio product that I tried from the uh, latter part of this year. I don't think we've got any more to come, so that should be the definitive top five. What I want to know from you, do you agree with me? Have you tried any of these irons yet? What are your thoughts? And will the T350 be on your list to try this year? Right, thanks for watching as ever and I'll see you all soon.